Good afternoon, my wonderful students. How are you today? Hope you're playing safe. Don't forget your safety measure. And always go online, copy your notes, do your assignments, read your notes for your CV test. I am here again today to take you on your week five topic titled Storage of Clothing and Household Learning. SST students, are you ready for me? Are you there? All right. Storage of clothing and household learning. That is our topic today. Let us look at the learning objective. What I will want each and every one of you to know at the end of this lesson. Number one, I would like you to know the definition of storage of clothing. And I want you to know the reasons or guidelines for storing of clothes. Are you getting it? The reason or guidelines for st storing your clothing items. I want you to list the guidelines on the use of wardrobe or closet for the care of clothing. And other things I would like you to know is to state the care and storage for accessories. What is accessories? You have to know today. Are you getting it? You know how to care for your accessories. And you know, you will be able to explain household cleaning. Outline the general procedure for the maintenance of this household learning. These are the things I expected you to know. You can see that I expected much from you. So give me your ears as you listen very carefully. Do you get it? All right, let's quickly go to the definition of storage of clothing. Storage of clothing is an important component in the care and maintenance of clothing. Yes, if you wash your clothes, you iron them, and you don't store it very well, you have not done any job. You find out that the clothes will come out rumpled or to have some stains, or even their household piece might eat them up if you do not store them very well. Is that taking? That is why it is very, very important for you to know this topic and know how to store your clothes at the right time. Are you getting it? All right. Let's quickly, to, let's quickly go to the reasons or guidelines for storing clothing items. How do you store your clothing items? Why do you store them? Number one, proper care and storage of clothes helps to keep them in good condition so that they maintain their original look for a long time. Just like this in my clothes. I saw this been using it for eight months now or thereabouts, but each time I put it on, people will keep admiring it because of the way I wore them, because of the way I take good care of it. Are you getting it? So it will help your clothes to always remain in the original look or shape that you are putting them at the initial stage. Do you get it? Proper storage of clothing also protects them from such things such as moths, cockroaches, and silver fish. Are you getting? They are all household pests. Remember, I said household pests, they are very dangerous to our things, items at home. And they have to live. But you too need to have to you need to take good care of your things. Protect your things from this household pests. I mean them. So you take good care of your clothes, make sure they are not dirty, you store them properly so that household pace will not get to them. Is that taking? Then hanging your clothes in a wardrobe prevent them from getting rumpled or creased so that they can retain the original shape. Say for instance, if I I dump this my clothes, maybe one side at the one side of my one corner of my house will i see it's new to wear today no the answer is no but those of you that used to dump all your material all your clothes at the neat ones they will wash them after washing them they will pack them and dump them at the corner maybe on the couch they will pour them at the car 
sit on it, play on it, they will, some will put on the bed, they will lie down on top of it, it is very wrong. You have to know how to take, store them properly. If it is the one that needed to be folded, you fold them. Put them at the partition of the wardrobe or put them in your bag or your box. Is that taken? If you don't have a wardrobe, you can store your clothes in many ways and they will look new again and presentable. Is that taken? All right, let's quickly look at the guidelines on the use of wardrobe or closets and the care of clothing. Now, select good anger for your clothes that need to be hung. Any clothes that need to be hung, my dear. Some clothes, some hangers need to be used to be rust. Don't use them in order not to rust your material. Is that a key? Use a good hanger so that you avoid them rusting your clothes. Is that a key? Now, delicate and fine fabrics such as silk require padded hangers. You know, some hangers need to use, they used to pad them. They are meant for clothes that, that are delicate and some, some of our suit material. You know, some of our suit material do have a shoulder pad. So those shoulder padded anger will help in putting them in good shape. Is that taken? All right. Only clean clothes should be hung on suitable hangers. Do you understand? You clean clothes. Do you need only clean clothes? Not that when you have come to school and you have sweated the whole day, you went home and you remove your clothes and you go and hang it in the wardrobe. Wow. No, that is wrong. Don't do that. You have to wash them, iron them, and put them in the wardrobe so that it will attract bad order. And if that bad order occurs, it will attract household paste. I hope you are getting me. All right, let, let's look, quickly look at other points on how to maintain our wardrobes. Like, do not hang knitted wear such as sweater because they will do what they will stretch and they will go out of shape. Knitted wear, like our cardigans, some of our knitted cardigans or tops, please don't hang them with hanger. Fold them and put them in the partition of their wardrobe. Are you getting it all in your bag? Are you getting it so that they won't go out of shape? Do not overcrowd your wardrobe with clothes so that air will go circulate among your clothes. Is that taking? Don't overcrowd your, your wardrobe with clothes. Don't jump pack it with clothes. Mm. This is wardrobe, I must put all the clothes. No, put some in your bag, put some in your clothes. Separate them in separate partitions. Is that taking? Keep your clothes from dust. Like this clothes, you can see that it's white. It has that white background. I had to. The way I preserve it, I put it on in, in a nylon and pass my hanger through the nylon and hang it in the wardrobe. Start washing and iron them. So that anytime I want to use it, I will quickly take it and put it on, whether there's light or not. Is that taking that's how you're supposed to be preserving all your white materials and other, you know, sensitive materials, colors like that. Is that taking? In fact, all your clothes. They need special key. Is that taken? You can keep some comfort ball. This comfort ball I'm talking about to prevent uh, cockroaches and some household pigs from attacking your clothes. And if you want to get a comfort ball, get the white one. But the colored one do stain clothes. Please get the white one. Is that taken? So the comfort ball will help in preserving your clothes and giving it good. Uh, fragments is that taken anytime you bring, bring out your clothes you will pass, you'll be perceiving the comfortable cord is that taken brush and air your clothes frequently to remove dust or moths you understand it's very important once now i know it's not all your clothes that be wearing all the time those ones that you don't normally wear please sometimes you bring them out dust them you understand and you arrange them back to the Please, is that taken? I want you to quickly look at this wardrobe. Look at this person's wardrobe, the way he arranged our wardrobe. See the way he hung the clothes. Do not jump at it. Do you understand? He arranged it very neatly. That will bring me to the topic 
to the next topic care and storage to the next subtopic sorry care and storage for accessories what is accessories they are those things we wear with our clothes like our jewelry my spectacle my my neck chain my hat handbag wristband wristwatch shoes they are all accessories they are come in any form now how do you take care of your your shoes i say do not leave your shoe or shoes carelessly on the floor to gather dust and become more difficult to clean some of us wear one shoe wear our shoe three days four days before we will remember that we need to clean it it is wrong as soon as you wear your shoe once go out and come back please dust them put them in a in a place if it is the one that needs to be dry please air that shoe to avoid odor is that taking you can see let me take you back to the picture you can see this lady the way he arranged her shoe a high heel shoe she separated it from the flat ones neatly do you understand you can see a laptop bag a handbag these are jewelry's boss all these are accessories her accessories you can see the partition of her accessories in this there in this there um, um picture are you getting she can equally store her accessories in partition of this wardrobe do you understand now jewelry said jewelry consists of important items for clothing do you understand it brings out your beauty it's eight in bringing out your look it eats your look granulize your look are you getting it now you store your jewelry in a box that has cover you can store it in a partition of a wardrobe do you understand the lower part or any part that is smaller that suits the jewelry is that taken but you remember you must handle it with care because they are very delicate is that taken all right let's look at another topic another subtopic household linen household linen he said that household linen is the term used collectively to include a variety of textile articles used in the house, such as a bed sheet, pillowcase, blankets, curtains, tablecloths, kitchen linen, and bedroom linen, bedroom linen. All those generally, instead of calling them one by one, generally their name is household linen. So whenever you hear household linen, they consist of all those materials, all those articles or textiles we use in the house, bed, bed sheet, um, blankets, pillowcase, curtain, tablecloth, kitchen linen, bedroom linen, and so on, and so on, glove. Do you understand? In the kitchen, they are all household linen. Is that taken? All right, let's look at the general procedure for maintaining this household linen. Number one, we say that dirty or soiled household linen, such as the sheets, should be kept in a covered basket or laundry bag until when you are ready to render them. But mind you, don't leave them for long. If you remove your uh, bed sheet, please, within an interval of two days, wash them so that you do not attract household paste. That's a key. Now, some linen such as napkin and floor clothes should be washed immediately after each use. Are you getting like your kit like your kitchen linen? You don't need to leave it because that will attract dirt and odor to it will spoil the odor of the house. Is that taken? So immediately you use them, your rack, you clean them off. Do you understand? Care must be taken to remove all stained all stains during the washing. When you are washing your linen, mind you, they are not as strong as other other material. They are not as strong as other material. So you have to be very careful when washing them. Is that taken? So let us look at other points like washed linen should be properly ironed. When you are washing your, your that, those uh, household linen, you have to iron them properly. Is that taking? You air the linen properly and fold 
the air lane properly. Number one, you have aired it, you have to fold it properly. And every linen such as the sheet should be stored in dry early shelves hmm? in a cupboard. A place where air will be touching it in your shelf. Are you getting it? Store them there so that they will have very good smell when you want to use them. Do you understand? Small light articles such as tea, tea clothes, napkin, plate mats may be kept in the drawer. You arrange them, fold them. Don't squeeze them and pack in the drawer. I hope with the, the lesson of today, with the end of lesson of today, you'll be able, you are able, you were able to catch up with our learning objective for today, which says definition of household clothing, definition of storage of clothing, and reasons why we need to store our clothes. Are you getting? And you were able to know the guidelines on the use of wardrobe or closet for the care of clothing. As well, you'll be able to state the storage for accessories and explain household linen and how you can take care of the household linen. With this, my dear wonderful students, I'll bring you to the end of this class. I hope you enjoy the class. Keep reading your notes and expect more of me. And I would like to have you more, more and more in my class. Thank you. Still remain your home management teacher, Mrs. Uduma Vivian. Yes. Read your notes and practice your safety measure. Love you so much and take good care of yourself. Bye for now.